Hey everybody, how are you doing? I am just getting back on my feet. If you follow me on any of my social medias, you'll know that I had a little bit of a, a medical issue, a kidney stone that was not wanting to move and making my kidney a little bit sick. And the number one thing everybody went to was, you drink too much tea. Not true. Um, tea does contain oxalates and I am waiting for the results of my um, kidney stone back. But the thing is, is there are so many actually plant foods that contain oxalates in it, like spinach and salt and I don't know, Brussels sprouts. I have a whole list of things, cream of wheat, wheat, period. Um, uh, pecans, nuts. I was like, are you kidding? I love nuts. I was really just eating a lot of nuts. And I do drink an amount of tea that is probably not healthy. So I've cut back on my tea drinking. I've added a lot more water and I feel great. I had amazing doctors. You all know I'm a kind of against uh, toxins and surgery and medications, but sometimes we have to do what we have to do in order to survive because it Hurts. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here and I got a box of tea and I believe... So anyway, I'm going to try one of them today. I'll be right back in like a minute because it's actually brewing over there. But I'm going to be trying the 2018 Spring Mamo Shang Purer. And um, as you know, Purer tea is fermented and it's amazing and it's healthy. It's a good tea. Um, so when it comes, I'm trying to grab a piece out for you to see. There you go. It kind of comes in, in sometimes in a cake. Um, this one is a little bit loose and it has pieces like this and you kind of just separate them gently and brew them in your pot or your cup or however. Um, I have mine kind of brewing in my gawan over there. So if you give me a minute, I'll be back and we're gonna taste test this right now. Bye. I'm back, did you miss me? So I'm kind of, oh, and I'm trying out a new ring light. I don't know what it looks like or if it looks any better, but let me know. I'm trying to get my system down. I wanna do um, more videos. Ooh, my hair is, was in a ponytail. Um, so I've got this in my cup and I've already kind of giving it a smell. Um, it almost, you know, it's amazing. It almost has a um, vegetal green um, scent to it, which is interesting to me because it's fermented. And to me, sometimes when something's fermented, it kind of means that it sits for a while and it loses its greenness. It loses um, the vegetal and it kind of goes more into a um, earthy, or smoked or black tea scent, but not this one. I'm kind of, kind of waiting for it to cool down just a little bit. Um, it smells amazing. I don't know if you can see the brew. It's a very light. Um, I would have to say a little bit of a, a darker yellow, but it's still on the light side. All right, so we're gonna give this a little bit of a taste and see what we're at here. Hmm, it's interesting. Wow. It's really, it's different. It's very unique. Um, so I'm gonna have to say it has a little bit of a vegetal taste, but almost like barky, okay, like bark off a tree or mushroom. Not so much earthy, but more kind of like a bark. Um, and the aftertaste is very earthy. It's very good. It's a little, little milky, a little sweet. I don't add any sweeteners to my teas. I like it. And not only do I like it, I like what it does for my body. It's a good tea. Um, so from what I know, Taiwan leaf, 
they're online <coughs> excuse me and um this is the 2018 spring mamo i may be butchering that word it's m-a-m-u-o i'm not always correct on my uh pronunciation of these words and then the other one i have is a sun moon lake black tea so i'm going to be trying that here in a little bit and i might as well just do it on this video and we'll get it all done um I love this. I love when companies send me tea. I love box openings. I love surprises and I love sharing them with you. Um, when I first started drinking tea, I was like five years old and I was sitting at my grandmother's table and I probably was drinking a Lipton tea with, um, remember sugar cubes? I probably had about five or six sugar cubes in my drink and a few in my mouth. And I would sit across from my grandma and we would just talk on her plastic covered table and we would have tea together. And it is one of my earliest memories of tea. And for a while I got away for tea because I live in the United States and tea was not a big deal here. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'd have to say maybe about 10 years ago, tea started gaining popularity to where now it's huge. And not only like, um, Americanized tea, Starbucks, things like that, or the tea houses that you have in your community, but loose leaf teas, and we're learning and we're educating ourselves on teas, and we can, we live in a global community where I don't have to buy my tea from my neighbor or my community, but I can go online and I can order tea from Taiwan or China or India, um, Australia, Paris, I mean, anywhere that you want tea, you can get it, and my journey is to share my tea journey with you. And when I get teas in, I wanna share them with you and I want you to know what is out there and what is accessible to you. And that's not to say, if you would see my tea cabinet, it is full of teas from my favorite St. Louis shop, um, Teatopia. I love it, I love going there and I love the teas, but I also love teas from around the world. And at the Chicago International Festival, there's going to be um, a, I think it's a lunch. You're gonna be able to, you gotta pay for a ticket, but you're gonna be able to have lunch with tea people from around the world, and they're gonna talk about purchasing teas from around the world. And I plan on attending that, and I plan on sharing it with you if you're not able to be there, because these are things we need to know. You know, we don't know who's reputable, reputable or not. We don't know who's sitting behind a table selling teas that, um, you know, maybe we don't need or want. So I'm excited to go. I'm actually, I have a press pass. I'm going to be doing something exciting with that. I'll be contacting all of the vendors and see who wants to participate. So if you're going, find me and let me know you're going. I would love to know that. But for right now, we're going to brew this up and I'll let you know what it tastes like. Boom, I'm back. Hey, um, so I've got this brewing, so we're gonna let it brew for just a bit. What do you think of the ring light? I kinda like it. I think it just adds a little bit more, you know, around here. I haven't decided if I'm going to record with my phone all the time or I have a couple cameras that I could use. I also have a mic and I'm waiting for a part to come in so that I can connect it to my camera or my phone, and that's about it. So, I'm hoping this is ready. Let's pour a little in there. Okay, this is a little deeper of a shade. I haven't smelled it yet. Oh, man. You know what, it's so, I just love, I love smelling and tasting these teas because you'll get a hint of something, but then there's just a little something else in there and its uniqueness is amazing. And that's what I love about reviewing teas for you guys, telling you guys about teas. Um, tea is never boring, never. I mean, maybe it is if you drink Lipton. This has almost like a honey type a scent with a little mmm, <laughs> a little mmm. I'll leave it at that with a little mmm in there. So let's try the brew is, can you see it? 
without me spilling it all over the place. All right, let's give this a try. Okay, it's it's earthy and creamy. It's got a creaminess and it's got a sweetness to it. It's not sweetened in any way. Um, I don't know what I did with the container, but um, it's a black tea. Blue Blue Lake Sun, Sun Blue Lake, Sun Lake Blue Tea? I can't remember the name. Hmm, one more. Can you hear the kids playing in the background? It's really good. I'm so glad that I don't review wine and I have to spit on here, but the, the taste that you have to make and the way you have to move your mouth in order to get, you know, all of the flavor out of it um, sometimes isn't the prettiest thing ever, but um, we do what we have to do. <laughs> Definitely. I'm going to give it that. I'm going to give it earthy milky and sweet like a honey there's something else there i can't cannot place it hmm. Mm -mm. i don't got it brisk it's brisk but it's it's a mellow tea okay I would almost consider this um, probably like a, a lunch tea a high noon tea um, not so much a breakfast tea um, a dinner tea would be good as well I mean you know it's got the caffeine in it and it's gonna get you up and going it's just not brisk enough to be that morning that you need to get you going, you know? You know, it reminds, it, and not as a slam, it reminds me of a, a Lipton, like a bagged, that Pacoe taste. Um, maybe a little citrusy. But yeah, it's good. It's an. I love this one. I really do love this one. Um, obviously, because I poured three cups of this already. Too bad the cups I was drinking all the time weren't this size, huh? <laughs> oh, it's really good. I love the fact it has this like little sweetness to it. All right, so that's my review. Um, and a lot of just chatter in between. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up in the inbox, send me a message. Um, however, however you feel like you wanna get in contact with me. If you have any suggestions, I love that as well. If you wanna send me a tea, get in touch with me. I will give you an address where you can send them. Uh, if you want me to review your teas, get in contact with me, we'll discuss that. And that's about it. I'm gearing up. I will not be in Kansas City this year. You know, um, I had scheduled, I had planned on being there. Something came up. I'm not able to get those days free. I am sad about that. Very sad. But I will be in Chicago in November, the 1st, the 2nd, and 3rd. I'm actually arriving on October 31st. I'm going to be videotaping and FaceTiming the um, setups, talking to some people, interviewing people. Let's talk about the crazy fads that might be there this year. Uh, what, two years ago? Last year, the big thing was chili, chili in the teas, or combining your teas with alcohol or into sodas. So let's see what it is this year. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see the vendors, meet new vendors, and tea enthusiasts from all over the world. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. You guys have a great day. Stay healthy, and let me know what's in your cup. Bye.